Hi, my name is Lee Matthews and I'm a physiotherapist and this is Pilates Rehab Relax and today I'm going to guide you through an exercise routine which will be five gentle Pilates exercises mainly laying on our back but along with each of those I'm going to show you the intermediate progression so remember work at your pace and if you're new to this stick with the gentle stuff and if you're looking at a video with me going through it in a slightly gentler fashion if you click on the link above and it'll take you to one of my five gentle exercise videos which is a bit slower paced and a bit more explanatory anyway enough talking from me let's get ourselves into laying on the mat so it'll be our normal start position so you might do them laying on your bed if you want to but I'm going to be laying on my exercise mat. I've got a folded towel underneath my head just to give some support there. So you don't want any poking chins. We're looking for a nice long neck, those wide collarbones and that lengthening of our spine. We're also going to think about centering our pelvis. So popping my hands in a triangle shape over my belly button. And let's just practice pushing the small of the back into the mat. And I'm going to peel the small of the back away from the, the mat there, just overarching, and then slowly reduce that amount of movement until you find that nice mid position. There should just be a small gap between you and the mat in the small of your back there. So for the first of our exercises, we're gonna do the single leg stretch, and we're gonna bring the arms into this as well. So the gentle version would be to try and bring one leg out and away from you, and the opposite arm does the same thing. So as we go to do that movement, we're gonna engage the pelvic floor muscles. We draw that tummy button in, and on an outward breath, we slide one arm and the opposite leg out and away from us. So that's a gentle version. And you could even just do the legs if you wanted an even gentler version still. But the intermediate version, we're gonna bring that leg up slightly towards the corner of the room where the ceiling meets the wall and then back down again. And then the same on the opposite side. So you pick the variation that suits you. And let's do a few of those. So we engage the core outward breath and back in again And for our next exercise, we're gonna do scissors. So the gentle version of it would be from our start position to alternate bringing one leg up and the other. So we engage the core as we alternate at a brisk pace, bring one leg and the other, like they're resting on a coffee table. The slightly more advanced version would be to start with our legs in tabletop. So it's really important that we really engage those abdominal muscles on that pelvic floor as we get into the start position. So there we go and we call that imprinting. And then from that position, so a bit like my feet are resting on a chair or a, a coffee table, what we're gonna do, same sort of movement. So again, engaging that core muscle and tapping the floor there. So you pick the right move for you, either the gentle version or the slightly more challenging version. So for our next exercise, we're gonna do one called hundreds. The gentler version is to just lift the shoulders and the arms clear of the mat. And what we're gonna try and do, engage the core muscle and then oscillating the hands like you're splashing your hands in two puddles either side of you. The slightly more challenging version is to engage the core muscles and to do the same thing, but this time lifting the head and the shoulder blades off of the mat. Now we wanna make sure you don't put excessive strain on the neck, and the way we do that is by imagining you've got something like a tennis ball or an orange between the chin and the sternum, and that way we don't do this. So nice long neck, 
with that gap there and let's get going so keep that core engaged and briskly patting those hands like the splashing in two puddles and then back down again and the same again so engage that core muscle and up we go and down again and again and one last time so for our next exercise we're going to do the shoulder bridge the easiest version is to do this with either no block at all or just a folded towel or in my case a yoga block between your knees so what i'm going to do i engage the core muscle i'm going to flatten the arch of the back into the mat and i'm going to slowly peel my bottom up and off of the mat there so that's the gentler version a gentler version still would be to just do the pelvic tilt where you don't even bring the bottom off of the mat and that's fine as well but the slightly more intermediate version would be from that position to try and lift one of those legs out and away from you and that's really working the other leg on the glutes and bringing that back down again so you pick what works for you and keep on going And for the last of our exercises, we're going to move on to the clam. For this, I'm going to go into side lying. So readjust yourself. I'm going to lay on top of my arm here and give myself some support under the neck. I want your, your knees to be together, your heels to be together, and your heels, your hips, and your shoulders should all be in a nice straight line with one another. What I'm going to do for this exercise, I'm going to engage that core muscle. And the easier version of the clam is to keep the heels together and just to lift those knees apart. And this is all about control at that belt line there. So wherever your waist is, imagine that you've got a glass of water balanced on your hip there as you go up and come back down again. So the general version is keeping those heels on the floor. Now the level two version, the intermediate version, is to have the heels up in the air and try and maintain the same <laughs> amount of control there. And good luck on that one. So there's a little bit of wobbling going on, but we engage the core and we breathe out as we do the movement there. Okay, and let's flip over and do the same on the other side. So again, bring yourself into side lying, position yourself so you've got some support underneath your neck there. And again, I'm looking for those heels to remain together, the heels, the hips and the shoulders in a nice straight line there. And again, your gentle version is to keep those heels on the ground. You engage the core muscle as you bring the knees apart. The harder version, the intermediate level will be level two, which is where the heels come off of the ground. We engage that core muscle, so we bring one leg away from the other. So you pick which is right for you. And remember, don't spill a drop of that glass of water there. <laughs> Thank you. 
and then we go. So that was our 10 minutes of Pilates. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found the right level that challenged you enough. If you want something easier, then there's lots of gentle routines that I've done. And if you were looking for a bit more, you might even want to try a slightly longer class. But thanks for watching and see you soon.